Hey, what is up guys? Uh, ben here, and welcome to the second installment of the FRC Java um, programming tutorial videos. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of what the command line is, why we use the command line, and then also how you can use the command line to interface with Git and GitHub. So it's kind of a lot of things to cover, so let's get started. Um, to start, basically, uh, the command line is kind of another way of interacting with your computer. So you can have a GUI, a graphical user interface. So like if you have an app with buttons, you can click on the buttons, drag the sliders, um, interact with the program in that way. But behind the scenes, a lot of the times you'll have kind of scripts running. And basically what that is, is it's just a bunch of commands being executed one after the other. And with the terminal or the command line, you can kind of uh, do these commands like more directly, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, so let me give you an example. So to start here, you're gonna wanna pull up, if you're on, um, if you're on a Mac, then you're gonna pull up terminal and finder. Oops, I don't think I... No. Okay, terminal and finder. So I have a terminal window and a finder window up right here. Um, and... Okay, so... Or if you're on a Windows, you're going to want package explorer instead of finder. So what I have here is just a finder window. So looking at a package... Um, so I have this programming package, right? Um, and I'll come in here and I'll say um, that I click on this. And so then I go into this folder. Okay, well now say I click on this one, now I go into that folder. And then I click on that one, now I go into that folder. And then I can also pop back out, just like that. And I can go back out of the folder, go in and out of the folders. Okay, well I can do the exact same thing in the command line using just text. So let me give you an example here. I'm gonna copy this folder, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna copy, or it's gonna copy the whole package, but then when I paste it into the command line, it's just gonna copy the path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say CD, which stands for change directory, space, and then paste the path. So what's happening here is that the CD is kinda of like the function. It's like your Java program, how you have a method, and then the, you, the space, and then the thing that comes after the space is going to be the parameter to your function. So the CD function here copies or changes the directory, and then the parameter is the directory that you want to change into. So CD, and then the directory that I want to change into. So then enter is going to run that command, and now I'm in that directory. And the way I can tell is with the PWD function, the PWD command, I guess is what you call it. Um, by the way, if you're on um, Windows, you should be in a PowerShell because that's going to be more close to what um, that terminal does. So don't be in a command line, be in a PowerShell if you can. So just search PowerShell and then go there. <laughs> um, PWD is print working directory, and that'll show me what directory I'm currently in. So you can see root, users, home directory, Documents, Robotics, Programming. And you can see, yes, I am in Programming. So these don't follow each other, but I'm making them follow each other. They're kind of working separately, but I'm trying to keep them <laughs> together. And that's what you're going to have a lot of the time. You're going to have a Terminal window, and then next to it, you're going to have a Finder window. Um, or Package Explorer, if you're <laughs> on Windows. Okay, so now that I'm in the Programming directory, I can do some pretty cool things. I can, for one, I can do, go um, ls, which is list, and that lists the contents of the programming directory. And you're going to see personal, FRC 2015 summer, tutorials framework, and all of these are, in fact, in the programming directory. Um, I can do something else, like ls. Now I'm going to give it a... Um, I'm going to give it a flag to the function. And what that's going to do is it's just going to do the function, but do it a little bit differently. ls-l 
means list it the long way. So instead of just giving me these like short little package names or folder names, it's going to give me the long version of the folder name. So this is going to give me much, much more information about what this is. Um, and so then that's how flags can be added to functions. And then another thing that you can do is uh, a different command. So let's say um, you're going to want the it's another good command. Um, you're going to want to be able to know how to do the, um, well, you can go cd even. cd, now I'm going to change directories into the tutorials framework directory. Um, you can start to type it and then press tab, that'll autocomplete, and then enter. Now, pwd, print working directory, now I'm in the tutorials framework directory. So now let me go into my finder, and now I'm going to click on the tutorials framework, and now I'm in there. Okay, awesome. Next thing that we need to do. Um, we need to know how to go out of a directory. So now that I'm in the tutorials framework directory, I'm going to go up one directory, so back into the programming directory. And I'm going to do that with cd, and dot dot stands for the, pro the directory that's right outside of your current directory. So now pwd, print working directory, now you can see I'm back in the programming directory. And you can even string... Um, uh, full directories together. So now I can say cd, or let me say ls first, so I know it's in my folder. Um, and now I'm going to go cd, and then the argument that I'm going to pass in is the tutorials framework directory, framework directory, and then I know that there's an src, you can see here, tutorials framework, and I'm going to copy into the, the, uh, the src, the source folder right there. So src. And then so that'll change directories into the uh, tutorials framework and then slash src. If you're on a Windows, it's going to be a backslash. But on Mac, it's a forward slash. Mac or Linux, it's, Mac or Linux, it's a forward slash. Um, so there we go. Now, PWD, I'm already all the way into my source folder.